Hello, good evening. Thank you for joining me again. Well, this afternoon I have been out working in the garden. Some of you may remember that back last year sometime, the end of the summer, I spent several days and a lot of effort digging out my fennel forest. This was not because I dislike fennel. It was because there is a limit to how much fennel one household needs and the forest was distinctly over that limit. Some of the ground where the fennel forest was is now growing onions that were planted in the autumn and much of the rest of it is still bare, ready to have something planted in it in the hopefully not too distant future. I'm not sure what yet because I'm still doing the garden plan for this year. But today I decided I would do some weeding in that area to keep it clear and ready for whatever I do decide to plant there. There is some fennel coming back as I thought it would and that's fine because I do want a bit. There's wild strawberry which is coming out because there's a lot of that all over the garden and I don't need any more of it. There were a few other weeds which were definitely going including some grass that's really in the wrong place. And there were a few primroses, those small but really distinctive bright green leaves poking up through the soil. And so I decided that I would dig out the primroses and add them to the flower bed in the middle of the veg garden that's there to attract pollinators. So I dug my trowel into the soil on one side of the first primrose plant, making sure I didn't get too close to the leaves so that I didn't damage the roots. Then I did the same to side number two and side number three. But when I dug the trowel into the soil on side number four of my primrose plant, I got a little bit of a surprise because instead of the trowel sinking straight into the rich dark earth, it hit a little bit of resistance and the plant that I'd already loosened tried to flip over on its side. I realized that I had not allowed quite enough space all the way around the tiny plant that was showing on the surface to accommodate the rather larger root system that was not visible beneath the surface. I tried again and got the plant out, I think, without significantly damaging the root system. There were half a dozen more primrose plants to move and I did do those a bit more carefully. They are all now tucked into the flower bed and I'm hoping that despite the nasty shock I've given them by moving them, that they will still choose to flower later in the spring or maybe next year. That would be fine. It did make me think, though. I remember doing a thought for the day last summer about a tree that fell down in the field in front of our house and the fact that it wasn't until it fell that anybody realised that the roots were totally rotten. The primrose, in a way, was the opposite of that tree, a tiny plant on top and a huge root system underneath, a root system that, as the season goes on, will feed the tiny plant, help it to get bigger and hopefully help it to burst into flower when the time is right. I'm hearing people all over the place at the moment talking about the frustration and boredom that's part of life in lockdown for them although I know that there are many other people who are working so hard they don't have time to be bored. And I'm wondering whether part of the gift of lockdown could be the time that some of us are able to spend in tending to our roots. So for me as a Christian, that would look like uh, more time to pray, more time to spend in my garden and connect with God through creation, and time spent reading some of those Christian books that have been on my I really must read this sometime pile for a long time. But I guess that for people of all different faiths or worldviews, lockdown offers to many of us the chance to tend our roots in terms of focusing on what we believe or value. They say, don't they, that if you look at an iceberg, that what you see is only a tenth of it and that the vast majority is below the surface and unseen. And yet the nine tenths that you don't see are really important in terms of the stability of what you do see. I think people might be much the same. The roots, the bits that you don't see really matter. As ever, I'm going to finish with a prayer. And as ever, 
If you'd like to make it your prayer, feel free to stick an amen in the comments or just say one to yourself. Father God, help us to use the time that lockdown may offer to tend our roots, our values and our beliefs, and through that to come closer to you. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you again tomorrow, I hope. Bye for now.